Great, thank you very much. Some really interesting presentations so far. So thank you for that. Um, my name is Henry. I'm a recent uh, graduate from Penn State, um, graduated master's from their engineering design program. And I'm really excited to share my work on a deployable vertical axis wind turbine. Um, alternative energy is a life-saving resource in disaster and military applications. Um, you can imagine uh, a medical tent sent up somewhere with um, important medical equipment running and suddenly there's a power outage or a fuel shortage. Um, and so that's where alternative energy can supplement some of that energy and keep these systems running. Um, wind turbines in this situation have uh, specific requirements. So they need to be able to be set up quickly um, without you know, fancy tools or technicians and things. Um, they need to perform well and then also be cost efficient. Um, so anyways, that's what my project aims to do. It aims to solve some of these problems. So I'll quickly run over the project and the project overview. Um, it's capable of uh, rapid energy deployment. Um, by the way, the prototype is in the bottom there, bottom center. Um, it, it, so it's capable of uh, being deployed quickly and start uh, to generate energy. It has decreased shipping costs because of its uh, compact form factor and the fact that it can, it can be stacked very easily. Um, it has high performance in urban environments, and this is because it's a vertical axis wind turbine, and so it can take in wind from any direction uh, rather than a traditional horizontal type. Um, so all these things make it well suited for military and humanitarian applications. So uh, I was able to prototype and test this um, kind of proof of concept, and the results showed a deployment ratio of 2.25. Uh, which is defined as the operational volume of the wind turbine as it spins. So you can imagine like the swept area of the wind turbine divided by its compact uh, form. And that's just for these uh, conforming mechanisms. Um, it was also achieved a packing density of 0.91 because it's a pure cylinder. So you can picture like uh, soda cans in a box uh, or all stacked together. Um, so that's kind of how efficiently we'll pack together. Uh, and then it was also able to generate some power, even though the prototype wasn't aimed at performance, uh, it generated about 10 milliwatts of power. It has two main deployable features, uh, conforming mechanisms that deploy these wings out, and then a telescoping tower that lifts the turbine up in the air. Uh, and the special thing about these conforming mechanisms is that they allow for the telescoping tower to fit inside the mechanism so it can pop up and then deploy the wings. Um, Tying into my research of mechanism synthesis of these conforming mechanisms, um, on the right here, I have the synthesis task parameters outlined, um, the major ones being the, the position of the wings and then the pole and how that really relates to uh, the pivot locations. Um, also included are some of the pin and link constraints I had to make. So the theoretical best mechanism is in light blue there, and then the light gray is the kind of deviations I had to make from that to get into the physical realm of things. So um, as you can imagine, this, this is aimed at providing power in military and humanitarian applications. Um, a next generation device you can picture being packed into a shipping crate and then shipped off during the next earthquake or hurricane and um, kind of quickly set up uh, to provide power where it's needed the most. Thank you.